What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be reacting to today, man, we got Lionel B Show. A couple of you guys wanted my reaction to this video, all right? So if y'all have not heard, this lovely lady right here, Miss Carly Russell, has been missing. All right. If y'all did not hear about the story, we're about to get into it. All right. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell the ain't your mama, tell the uncle Joe. We still a hold. Let's get right into the video. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, peace? Welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's our first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And his link will be at the top of the description if you guys want to go check out his channel as well, man. Shout out to him. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, peace, breaking news, man. Apparently, we have a 25-year-old woman by the name of Carlithia Nicole Russell. Uh -huh. um, she's actually gone missing. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you guys may have been hearing about this story. Some of you guys haven't. Mm -hmm. But check this out. So, basically, she was on her way home from her job at the Woodhouse Day Spa Summit. <clears throat> and it was about 10 minutes from her house. Now, the Hoover 911 Center received a call from her stating a toddler was walking on the side of the interstate. Mm -hmm. She then stopped to check on the child, and while she and that's real strange. That's already a red flag. Like, what is a toddler doing on the side of the road? But at the same time, especially like I can't say a mom. I don't think she's a mom, but a woman with womanly instincts and a nurturer. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, the first thing is not to think, "Oh, is somebody setting me up?" Could I, you know, can something go wrong here? No, something has already gone wrong. I see a toddler on the side of the road. My instincts is kicking in. I think I feel like anybody would do that, right? Run over there and make sure the toddler is good. But it sounds like she fell into a trap, y'all. She was checking on that child. She actually called a family member. Now, the family told investigators that they lost contact with her, but the phone line remained open. When police arrived, they found her car as well as her belongings, a wig, and also a cell phone. So basically, guys, what it sounds Wait, like... found what? As well as her belongings, a wig, and also a cell phone. Did he, did he say a wig? Wow. Okay. So basically, guys, what it sounds like is with her checking on that toddler, it sounds like they pretty much set her up. Okay? Yeah. So it sounds That's like they, they had used the child as a decoy. As bait. And then yeah. they walked right up and just snuck her from behind. Right. You know, because what toddler is going to be walking on an interstate that's what i'm saying and like of course it's a red flag but at the same time like i said if you literally see a child or a toddler on the side of the road much less okay not even a, okay child yes of course we would say the child too but imagine a toddler guys who cannot fend for themselves in any type of way can barely walk right you see a toddler on the side of the road what are you gonna do are you just gonna leave that toddler there and call 911 from the bushes or from the car you know what i'm saying like no you're not doing that you're gonna go save that child you know and figure out what's going on and try to get that child help so <clears throat> you know i feel like it was very commendable she put on her fucking superhero cape but now this shit is fucked up you know so hopefully she is found you know <clears throat> 9 30 something in the evening that's absolutely crazy and you know what else is crazy I just reacted to the Sound of Freedom thing. If y'all didn't watch that, go watch that. I reacted to that yesterday. Dark outside, probably not no lights out there, but of course you saw a little baby walking. So I'm pretty sure they've done this thing several times, guys. Now, it's definitely a sad situation. Mm -hmm. Now, this innocent young lady, you know, she's just out here trying to do her part, trying to be a good Samaritan. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, guys, are feeling like she got kidnapped. She got abducted, and currently she's being trafficked. You know, a lot of things, a lot of people right now are putting up missing signs and we're definitely, definitely trying to spread the awareness, man. And hopefully she's returned safely. But guys, you know how these things go. Hmm. I mean, how many people have you seen return safely? Man, I can see if that's so sad, man. I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. As soon as I heard about this situation, automatically I just thought she's not, we're not going to see her again. You know, like I really hope that that. Is something that is false, that proves to be false. This stuff is really serious, what goes on. I don't want to speak too much on it because y'all already know about the guidelines and all of that. But just know that it's tough to get out of them situations, man. Like, if one she just disappeared and there was nothing else involved, no foul play. But the fact that her wig is missing. her, um, her The wig is crazy, y'all. When I heard wig, I was just like, wow. I don't want to laugh because it's a serious situation, but they talking about her wig. So what are they saying? Like her wig, like her actual wig was missing off of her head? Or was her wig in her car chilling and that was, like, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. safely. 
I can see if she just disappeared and there was nothing else involved, no foul play, but the fact that her wig is missing, her um, her cell phone, and her car, you know, I don't think they had intentions of taking her out to Denny's or Applebee's. You know, I think they definitely had- Yo, I'm trying to be serious. You got me laughing over here, man. Come on, Lionel. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to be serious. Yeah, this nigga got me laughing, bro. Wig is missing. <laughs> her um, her cell phone and her car. That's tough. You know, I don't think they had intentions of taking her out to Denny's or Applebee's. You know, I think they definitely had intentions of hurting the young lady. It's unfortunate Thanks. that things like that go on to where you can't even help people out anymore Man. with fear that somebody is trying to get over on Man, you. Man, It bro. just doesn't make any type of damn It sense. doesn't. It doesn't. I definitely want to share it this doesn't. story with everybody, man. Um... Y'all peep her face. If y'all see anything strange, you know, or screams or any type of sounds, don't be no superhero, but definitely call the authorities. <laughs> don't be um, a sad superhero. situation and things like this go on um, in our day and time. We already know the world crazy, but now man. we got even more crazy stuff It's going just getting on. crazy. We definitely want to help our people, man, get mm-hmm. some type of justice. So mm-hmm. hopefully, guys, she is returned. It doesn't look good. I mean, it she's doesn't. only been missing for about a day or two. But it's definitely all over the internet right now. With these type of situations, like he said, man, it's very, 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 very extremely rare for somebody to go unmissing. Okay, (laughs) go missing and then unmissing. You know, lost and found is very, 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 very rare. Now, I really hope that this is the case when it comes to her. I really hope that she is found and she's at least alive, right? But the chances are very slim, guys, if I'm being honest. You know, the chances are very, 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 very slim. Hopefully the awareness maybe will somehow get her out of the situation. If she's still alive, we don't know what's going on, y'all. We have no idea at all. But, you know, prayers go out to her and her family. I can't imagine. No, we're definitely hoping you know? for a safe return. <clears throat> now, her mom actually did get with a reporter, and she was giving out some more details. I'm about to play that clip for y'all right now. 450. 936 she told her she saw a child on 459 right before exit 10 um, that appeared to be three to four years old by themselves she's pulled over she called 911 Mm -hmm. but in the process at some point she got out the car Mm -hmm. Um, my daughter-in-law could hear her asking the child Mm -hmm. if they were okay the child didn't respond or at least she didn't hear now you swoop in grab that child go back to the car you know what I'm saying but at the same time you don't know how you're gonna feel you don't know what type of moves you're gonna make in the heat of a moment like that right so it's easy for us to judge the situation and tell you know what we would have done but we don't even know what we would have done you know in that situation the pressure's on you don't know what's going on you know you got a baby out here just you know like you don't know what you're finna do so you know i can't judge her for how she handled the situation the moves she made and anything like that you know i can't say that i would have done better you know hear her asking the child if they were okay the child didn't respond or at least she didn't hear her respond he or she respond and then she heard um our daughter carly scream and from there all we could hear was noise background noise in her phone which we later found out was noise from the interstate and so um they have found her um her wig and her hat and her cell phone that were um, in close proximity to her car so if anyone sees carly from the pictures that we have um put out just keep in mind um because her wig came off her hair her will be braided off. down to her skin. thank you so much for clearing that clear clearing that clear clarifying that for us because i was wondering where does the wig come into play with all of this like why is everybody mentioning the wig like what's the significance to the wig like was the wig in the car did she have the wig on like so what she's saying is she had the wig on right but the wig was found along with her cell phone and all of that if anyone sees carly from the pictures that we have um put out just keep in mind um because her wig came off her hair would be braided down to her scalp so Mm -hmm. she won't have you know long hair or anything like that Mm -hmm. that um is reflected on the picture Mm -hmm. she pretty much has cheekbones like me um pretty much our face is the same structure so um Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all the information we have. We do have some indication that there may have been a gray vehicle that a trucker saw that mm-hmm. pulled in front of her car at some point mm-hmm. as they were passing along the interstate. Mm-hmm. 
and that's all the information or leads we have at this time so i just ask everyone if you would mm -hmm. pray we mm -hmm. are trusting god we are staying positive we are not allowing mm -hmm. any negative thoughts to enter our minds so all that we're doing is trusting god believing god that our daughter will be brought home safe. i can't imagine man Shit. And you have a lot of uh, support here mm -hmm. yes, family and friends as well for every one that is supporting us and has been supporting us since they heard of her missing last night so we're just eternally grateful and again we have more support coming, coming. we want to com continue to to apply pressure to this thing we don't want this to die down mm -hmm. um we need this to blow up mm -hmm. um so if anyone sees anything no matter how minute mm -hmm. no matter how insignificant you think it is mm -hmm. please contact 911 contact us uh and just 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 keep us in your prayers absolutely and we actually are these people are here to help start a search party. Anaya Blanchard's mom is also on her way over here to help lead us in the search. Of She has experience in it, and she's going to give us some pointers as well. But we just ask everyone to please, 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 wherever you are, if you're not in Birmingham, whatever, they could be in Georgia. We don't know. Mississippi, Tennessee. I mean, they could be across the world by now. We don't know, you know, like. Anywhere, just please keep your eyes out and, um, be diligent. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mr. and Mrs. Russell, just thank you so much for your time. And so we're hoping for a miracle for Carlithia Nicole man. Russell. Once again, 25 years old, man, been missing since July 13, 2023. 13? She's 20, five foot four, 15. 150 pounds, and, and she was missing from Hoover, Alabama. Now, according to her mom, they said there was a great vehicle that pulled up, so hopefully, you know, Alabama and different states worldwide, they're looking for some type of great vehicle so we can kind of, you know, figure out exactly what happened with Carlithia. Very sad situation, very unfortunate situation, man. If I was their parents, I would be saying the same thing, man. I'm not going to let no negativity get into my mind, enter my mind. We're going to find her, whatever the case is. But me, as an outsider looking in, I feel like it just does not look good, man. We see plenty of these situations all the time. <clears throat> And they just, nine times out of ten, they just do not work out in people's favor. Favor, But, like I said, prayers do go out to her family, her friends. And it's sad that you cannot even be a civilized citizen out here without having to worry about whether or not you're getting set up, you know, to be in a situation just like this. So, guys, keep your eyes peeled. One thing that you do have control over is your mind, right? <clears throat> and the energy that you send out into the world right so of course bad things can happen to anybody but with a positive mind you're much less in my opinion you're much less likely to attract negative situations not saying that she had a negative mindset or i'm just saying you know like keep a positive mind you know keep a connection with god keep you know just your spirits high your energy high and all of that stuff that's the best protection that we have against things like this right but like I said, man, bad things happen to good people as well. No matter how connected to source or God or whoever it is that you pray to, no matter how, you know, tight that bond is that you have with your whoever you consider your maker. Right. Shit happens. So, like I said, definitely sending out prayers to the family and friends of Carly Russell, man. Let's just pray that she does make it home safe and sound man that's all i got to say on the video like i said man show lionel b show some love go subscribe to his channel like comment subscribe all of that tell a friend and tell a friend until they ain't jimama until they uncle joe we still a hoe i will see you guys in the next motherfucking video and i love y'all man peace we out baby